Are we good to go? Good to go, girl. All righty. Well, we're going to talk about healthy food fast. And so we're going to get started with actually, uh, we, Pamela and I have decided that it's a good idea to uh, do a healthy living highlight. So the first highlight that we're gonna, well, the only highlight that we're gonna talk about to get started is actually uh, something that was mentioned by several of you and my keys are not moving the slide. Ah, there we go. All right. So uh, our complete mix for Juice Plus is um, as Michael and Pamela mentioned, <laughs> it's right there. Go to what's what would they want to have. Uh, the complete shake mixes are more than a protein shake. It has a balance of 15 fruits and veggies in it, and they are really delicious, as uh, those of us who have had them know. There is French uh, vanilla and Dutch chocolate, and um, they really are fast. You can be out the door in less than a minute if you've got your bullet or whatever mixer, you know, piece of equipment that you have. Uh, so that really is a wonderful source of soy-based protein. Um, here's the bag here. So it has um, just all kinds of wonderful ingredients to it. So there is um, chickpea and rice and pea protein and just all kinds of marvelous ingredients. Everything's listed on the uh, package. And it is a marvelous way to get some extra nutrition either by itself or we throw it in smoothies and it's just really tasty. So there you go is our healthy living highlight for um, Juice Plus. So in doing a little bit of research for this, um, I came across a site and this um, is a modified list from the woman who started this out. I, I did modify it because I thought, yeah, some of these things like deli meat, those really aren't very healthy things. So um, her suggestion for her family were these easy sorts of things. So fresh fruit, hummus, which is what I mentioned is one of my go-to. Um, I don't know if you all eat hummus, but um, it's uh, chickpeas is all hummus is. And then what uh, Sabra is a, bland, is a brand. Um, hy V now has a brand on its own that they're making. Um, so it's just ground chickpeas and then you can put whatever you want to in it. So they put spicy red peppers or they put garlic. There's there's a number of different things. I use it, um, I eat it with, as I said, um, gluten-free crackers and I use holy guacamole. I'll show you in a, just a second, um, a, a picture of that. Chips and salsa and carrot sticks. Again, several of you mentioned those. I'm really a fan these days of snap and snow peas. Those are just so easy and I think that they are delicious. Um, Frank, I asked him what his favorite go-to was and celery and peanut butter was at the top of his list. He also threw in wine. <laughs> I don't think that, that really is a very healthy food. <laughs> Um, but this this uh, busy mom, she thought that these were just easy. And instead of going to a grocery or instead of going to a fast food restaurant, she said, just go to the grocery store and find these things. And often the healthier foods tend to be on the outside of the store, especially, you know, as you go into, into a store, the produce aisle is first. So the further kind of into the store you get, it tends to be less healthy food. So as you shop, kind of be conscious of that. That's, that's just kind of a, a fun little layout that the store kind of traps you into weaving into fine different things. So this lady um, just thought it would be great to um, pack a picnic bag and keep it in the car to keep um, utensils and napkins and things like that. So her family could be a little more impromptu. If it was a lovely day like today, they could just run through the grocery store, pick up some of their favorite stuff, and they would be able to be on the go and on the way to a park in no time. So from our shred book, actually, here is this marvelous list of all kinds of different um, uh, snacks and foods and such. I had not thought of using the complete to make pudding. A Dairy-free pudding is one of the things that I have really missed, and I thought, Huh, there it is right there. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to give that a whirl because that sounds just really tasty. Um, and then of course you get lots of protein with that. Another thing that Frank did say that um, he was his go-to, like last night I was gone, and so he made oatmeal. 
he doesn't put anything in it. He just makes oatmeal and that was his, um, you know, meal in minutes last night. Um, I'm a real fan of popcorn, but I put butter on it. <laughs> no air drying. I do, I do hot pop it, <laughs> but we don't have an air popper. So all of those kinds of things. Um, this cauliflower popcorn, I've never tried that. Have, I don't know if any of you have tried it. Maybe when we get to the discussion, um, you would be able to share with me your experience. But this cauliflower popcorn sounds really super interesting as well. Okay, so because Frank and I are basically um, plant-based, we don't have meat maybe two, three times a month. Um, I have a list of some substitutes on our door in the kitchen. So this is just a really great list. It has what food it is, what serving size, and then the fourth column over, um, well, I can't, uh, over here, the fourth column is the protein count. And so I have found that to be really useful when I'm trying to figure out something that uh, is gonna be more filling and give us protein. Um, not eating a lot of meat does kind of challenge you a little bit in that. So I found this to be a really great list and I can figure out a way to um, post that in our Facebook page. This is my go-to uh, when we started doing um, plant-based foods forks over knives. Um, if you've ever, not ever watched the documentary, there's a 90 minute documentary that explains their reasoning for why plant-based lifestyle is a better choice. It's well worth the 90 minutes to sit and watch it. And then there are several cookbooks. These happen to be the two that we have. They encourage not even any oils, not even like olive oil or avocado oil or anything like that. So that's another thing that we've kind of modified. Um, we, we don't use them very often often um, when I cook, but uh, we, do, we do include some of those. Sometimes just gives foods just a little more flavor. Let's see, here's some of the staples that we have in our house. And so welcome to the dining room <laughs> and the living room. So what I've kind of done here is just kind of given you an idea of some of the things that we just keep stocked in the pantry. So here's the, here's the peanut butter. Um, we don't, there's no oil in it. It is just crushed nuts. So Smucker's has that. Um, we have, I have found that uh, Fairway, no, Fairway doesn't have it. I have to get these at Hy-Vee, but Hy-Vee is now stocking two dairy-free uh, cream cheese and sour cream products. Um, this one is Tafuti and this one is Follow Your Heart. So that makes you feel like you're still kind of eating like normal people <laughs> a little bit. Just gives you some of those textures and flavors that um, just bring a tang and such to foods. Um, beans have become a staple at our house. So has quinoa. These, if you haven't found these protein pastas yet, Fairway has a far better selection than, than high bee uh, here in Atlantic anyway. But this is a Barilla, which is an Iowa company up by Ames. And then um, I don't even know the name of this company. But anyway, these um, pastas are somewhere around oh, somewhere 10 to, 10 to 15 grams of protein per serving. So they're using plant-based um, foods and they've made pasta out of them and they are delicious. And they're so much um, more stable if you've done any cooking with gluten-free noodles, they have the, the corn and the rice, the early iterations of them would really just fall apart and kind of shred. These are really, they really hold their shape well and they have good flavor and they have good texture. So highly recommend them. These have been a really wonderful thing the last few months to add to our cooking. So we can take um, I my spaghetti sauce. I, I put a conglomeration of things together, but I kind of use the Hunt's pasta sauce as a base. And then I add in my mom's tomatoes and I'll throw whatever I feel like into it. And then to put it on top of the pasta, we don't need to have hamburger or sausage in the spaghetti sauce um, because the protein is in the pasta. So that has been really great. Um, Green Giant has two flavors that we can get here locally. Maybe they have more that I don't know about. This one happens to be Tuscan. You can't see it on the label down here, but um, these are cauliflower pizza crusts. And then what I do for the protein, again, is I take refried beans and I use that instead of pizza sauce on the bottom layer. 
And then, um, you know, I usually saute green peppers and onions and throw in garlic and I don't know, you know, whatever you like to put on your on your topping for your pizza. So that's really good. Um, here's that holy guacamole that I was saying. Um, they now have little one ounce. I think they're one ounce uh, tubs. There are four of those in a box. And I just found them several weeks ago. So that's really handy. I can eat a whole one of those. It probably has a half of an avocado in it. And um, then it has some seasonings that are pretty darn tasty. This is homemade applesauce. These are grapes. And then of course, apples, that's an avocado, this dark little spot down here. And uh, clementines, um, of course, are a wonderful, healthy snack. And if I will cut them up, if I'll take the skin off them and peel them and put them in a bowl with some grapes, Frank will eat them. Would he grab one of those and peel it himself? Oh no. <laughs> but if I do the work and I put it in a bowl, he will wolf them down like no tomorrow. <laughs> So that's just kind of fun. Let's see. What I'm doing now is adapting our recipes, the things that I grew up with. Um, so now that I'm, I'm a little bit more familiar with how plant-based um, cooking works and just making, trying to make things healthier for us, this is a recipe and I'll put it in the Facebook group. But it, it turned out great. You'll see at the bottom, the recipe calls for a pound of hamburger. Chickpeas are my favorite go-to beans. If you don't cook with them often, I recommend that you give it a try. They have a very neutral flavor. They have a fun crunch to them. They're a little round ball. And uh, that's the basis for hummus. Um, but they keep their shape really well. And they just blend in with all kinds of different food. That's what I. Um, that's another thing with the uh, spaghetti sauce that I will frequently use instead of meat. So there is the there. There's the recipe. I made it just a couple of weeks ago, and it was absolutely delicious. So if you like kind of an Oriental um, flavored food, this might be something that a recipe that you might want to give a try. So. There you go. There's just some ideas for some super healthy snacks, um, some super fast meals that will go together in minutes. You can be eating uh, in an hour and or less. Um, and I have I have a bunch of other recipes, but I thought that was that was the newest one. I thought I would just share with everybody. So thank you for that. <laughs>